A shotgun snap for Watson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Foster. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. It's our time. It's our time. Here's Watson. That's Foster hauling it in over the middle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. First down, Barkley. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Check, 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 check. And pretty fast. Mike, Mike, check, check, 59. Throwing on second and eight. Watson. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Jordan Thomas. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run on first down. Barkley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. And that's the big fella's MO right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. Watson now nearing the 300-yard mark with still a corner to play. It's first and 10. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. 30, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. Off of play action, it's Watson eluding the pressure right. And he gets this out to Foster on the right side. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And that play is able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. On first down, Barkley. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. From the 50, it's Watson. Wide open receiver complete. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, it's Watson. He gets it to Thomas. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means... And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Saquon Barkley. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. 
Now a first down throw. Watson flushed out right. He'll try and run it, and he'll be out right at the 35. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Watson on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 38. Operating from the gun, Watson. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 23 yards on the play. They'll run on first down. Barkley. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth quarter lead. To throw on second and six. Watson looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. They will indeed snap it to Watson. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Watson looks to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Second and goal from the one. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Texans have retaken the lead. And that rushing touchdown is fourth. Puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he was. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first down, Barkley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. Watson. 
Throw left side complete. It's Rowe. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now a play fake, and it's Watson rolling to his right. Now he'll pull it down. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. The Texans on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run with Madison. And he's got this down to the 35. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll try the air now with Watson. Flush to his right. And he's going to keep it here. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. From the gun on third, Watson. And he's going to have the connection to Foster. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. In for the score. And the Texans push further out in front. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Check, four down, four down. They'll run on first down. Barkley, and he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Watson, off play action. They'll roll him out right. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to be stopped short of a first down as they'll get to him at about the 33. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. The Texans send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs, down by a field goal, a little under a minute 50 remaining. A field goal since... And with this win and an AFC championship, they have reached the most hallowed ground in all of sports. That means they are the best in their conference. What an incredible feeling for this team to go through the entire season and come out on top and now go to the Super Bowl for the right to be called world champion.